Good morning. It is Tuesday, March 24th, about 9.30, and it's a rainy day here in Middle Tennessee. I am not going to pretend that I am enlightening anybody as we basically have had the toy box turned over and everything shaken out on the floor in the world today. And uh, I don't necessarily have the intelligence or the eloquence to speak to that in a manner that's going to be any more comforting than, than what you've probably already read or heard. I can tell you a few things f from my standpoint that I have felt a lot of conviction about. So I don't know if sharing this is something that we all need to hear or someone needs to hear or if it even matters, but I'm going to share this. And my conviction is, is I firmly believe that this is a reset button. I, I don't know what that means in terms of anything other than that. I think it's a time to repent. And I think it's a, a real good time for that. And I think it's also a good time for all of us to reevaluate. One of the things that I have seen over and over leading up to this is how we've marginalized things. And I'll explain. It's like our healthcare system. If you know, and Melissa is part of that healthcare system. You know, it's we have done so many things to, you know, not heal and not treat, or we're doing these things. Have, have you noticed in in the greatest of economic times, especially like the last ten years since the recession, you've seen the economy just erupt. I'll give you an example. Right before the recession, the market, stock market, was in the 14,000s. And when it dipped into the sixes, we thought we'd never see these days again. And in that time, in that 10-year period of time, it more than doubled. Now, I understand how that, you know, the wealthy got more wealthy, blah, blah, blah. But what I'm saying is we saw exponential growth. But did you notice, just as a small example, in the medical field, we kept the margin so tight that everything was about driving a profit. I understand. I understand we all need to make money and I'm for that. But when we marginalize life, I think ultimately after a period of time, there's a penalty for that. We have gone so far to create, you know, by, a, by and large as a people, we're much more interested in what a celebrity whether it be a rock star or a movie star or, you know, some athlete to tell us how we should believe things, you know, politically or what is best for us as a people. And look, I admire athletes. I, I mean, that's part of what I do is, is coach athletes in strength. But when, when that is put in the forefront of everything, you know, it's, it comes with a cost. And I think that cost is being called. Now, what does that mean for everybody? I don't know. I have lived long enough to learn that a lot of times the answer to the question is I don't know. And uh, I do know these things. This is a time when we can't lose faith, you know, and it's a time when we need to really consider our communities and the people that we love and to take care of each other. I saw a video by Chris Duffin earlier, and he was very emotional, and I think that's fair. I, I don't see any issue with that. You know, and, and he said that, you know, it's, it's not just powerlifting, and I think he's right. You know, I think the skill set that we learn as strength athletes, you know, like with powerlifting, you, you overcome adversity, because if, if you are any good at this, if you stick around long enough, you face all sorts of different issues, adversity, challenges, and to become an elite power lifter. And Chris is certainly that and, and then some. I mean, he's done amazing things, not only on the platform, which is where I got the opportunity to meet him, but, you know, look at the, look at the business that he has created. And he said something that I thought really spoke to me is first he allowed himself to be emotional. He is showing you who he is. And I think I've learned that when people reveal themselves, believe them. And he revealed a lot about himself. But he said something that really struck me that I had the same, some of the same words that I have used 
and we have used as a, as a group where I coach, and that is community. And I've learned a long time ago that, you know, we all need to rely on each other. It does take a community. It takes a village. And we need to get back to some of those basic things. And, you know, it's not like back in the day it was better. No, it was just different. But there are some things that we need to revisit and make sure that they're a priority. So here's just some suggestions. If you pray, pray. You know, it's okay. It's okay to pray. You know, I'm trying to find grace in all this. I'm trying, I get upset with myself and frustrated with myself because I'm so fearful. I'm fearful of the disease and, you know, and, and, and so many things that are associated with it or the economic fallout. You know, what does this all mean? What's the timeline? And nobody seems to know. And, uh, you know, so, you know, a friend of mine in so many words said, I have no idea of what's going on but I do know who does. So I hope you will rely on your faith. I will hope you will rely on the people that have been put in your life and placed, um, you know, on your pathway for a reason and uh, that you will lean on each other and take care of each other. And uh, love is always going to be a good thing. Uh, being understanding, being forgiving and being supportive is going to be crucial going forward regardless of where this ends up and uh, shout out to Chris Duffin I appreciate you sharing of yourself and and not being having the courage to do so that, that speaks volumes and I think a lot of us could learn a lot from that and take care of your community take care of your teams and uh, you know let's reach out to one another and get through this and when there's prosperous times again, let's not forget this moment and be grateful. Be, be blessed. See the blessings that you have and, and be thankful for that. Say a word to the big guy upstairs because I think right now that's crucial. So, thanks for indulging me. I hope you find something from this. And if nothing else, if it, if it causes you to step back and think for a moment, be thankful for what you still have. And, and say a little prayer and you know and, and speak to the speak to God I think right now that's that's a lot of what we can do the most we can do is always pray and uh, love one another take care of each other all right guys have a good day <laughs>